A truck full of fish just arrived in Austin to start tackling a major problem in one of our area lakes. City scientists are calling this a plant explosion. KXAN's Erin Cargyle is on the shoreline of Lake Austin tonight with a closer look at the unwanted weeds taking over there. Good evening. We're here at Mary Quinlan Park near Steiner Ranch where 3,000 Asian carp are expected to be released into the water at 10 o'clock tonight. And it's going to make these boaters extremely happy. That's because the carp will be eating the hydrilla, an unwanted weed that can get wrapped around boat propellers and isn't fun for swimmers. The city has released these sterile carp many times over the years, but never as many as they're about to put into the water over the next several months. They're trying to get ahead of the problem. Problem that's gotten out of control. Tonight they'll use a chute like this one to slide the fish into the warm water. The carp will find the hydrilla that is now covering 30% of Lake Austin. That's seven times as much hydrilla than before the drought in 2011. It's lowered Lake Travis, which means the water coming into Lake Austin is much warmer, and hydrilla likes warm water. Using this method to get rid of hydrilla isn't cheap. Each fish is about seven bucks. The 3,000 that are going in the water tonight set the city back more than $20,000. To date, the state and city have spent nearly $150,000 on the carp. Now, the city is planning on putting another 12,000 carp into Lake Austin over the next several months, but a shortage at the hatchery in Arkansas is slowing down that process. On Lake Austin, Aaron Cargyle. KXAN News. All right, thank you, Aaron. We'll